everybody, PokeGuy2567 here. In today's video, I've got 100 booster packs of Lost Origin to open. So I'm hoping we can pull some really cool stuff, get some secret rares, some alt arts. I still want that Pikachu VMAX with red on it. It's awesome. All right, let's rip them open and see what we get. All right, 100 packs, guys. Let's go. What can we start with? If you haven't seen my last video, you should definitely check that out. We started off strong in the first pack. Got the uh, the full art lady card, one of the harder cards to track down. What can we get? Oh, I see something already. Alrighty. And, oh, Giratina V-Star to start off strong. That is what we want. That is definitely what we want. It's not the alternate art, but I do not have the V-Star yet, so awesome. Put that to the side because we do have a hundred packs i think i might just uh blast through the pack rather than just doing the standard reveal of all the commons because i don't think anyone here is interested in looking at commons are we we all want to see nice cards so i'm not even going to bother with that let's just go straight through it and nothing all right cool all right 100 packs blast through them oh Sorry guys, that was hard to get into that one. Alright. That's right, we had, a good, we had a good start. We had a good start. There are so many packs here. I am not worried at all. I'm not worried at all. Alrighty. Dun 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 dun. Oi, here we go. Radiant Gardevoir. Very nice. Very nice. I will put that to the side. I will grab a sleeve for it first. I'm going to sleeve up every... Uh, every pull that we get and then we'll go through them at the end that way we have a good we have some good stats on what are the odds within 100 packs so i'm hearing mixed signals from everyone lately some people are saying like hey, you know oh, alternate arts like one in three cases it's like well let's find out there's the kingdra cool next packet next packet i want that i actually want the full art uh, Pikachu V Max with red in it over the Giratina, funny enough, because Pikachu and red are just my favorite type of cards. And if I do pull the uh, that Giratina Ultra, I'm definitely not going to complain. I'll be super pumped with that. Even the uh, that Pikachu, the sleeping Pikachu um, character rare, that's definitely something I want. Kyron V, cool. Cool. Sleeve, sleeve, sleeve. All right. Get into it, get into it. All right, dun 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 dun. Yeah, nothing. That's all right. That's all right. Oh. Nothing. I would, would be curious to know if you guys prefer this style of opening. Do you prefer it just being faster and just blasting through the packs? Or do you prefer the standard reveal where we, you know, we take it out, we show you the code card, we go three from or four from the back, or would you just prefer doing it the normal, the, the quick way where we just get to look through and see if we have a full out or not? A lady and Gridden. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do the um, do the quick way in this video, but I would appreciate your guys' opinion if you prefer. Be doing it the way you just seen, or if we prefer just to fly through them like this. That way you guys don't have to sit here for an hour watching me open up all these cards. You can just watch this in a nice, I have no idea how long this is going to take me. 20 minutes or so if we keep it up like this. Rather than you sitting here an hour. That's a nice artwork on the beautiful, isn't it? Alright, Pull. Giratina V, awesome. Goes with the V star. Very nice, very nice. Actually, not sure if I prefer the V or the V star. Pretty much the same, just in one's face in the opposite direction. Yeah, the V star's nicer. V star's nicer. Alrighty. Two Giratina cards. Can we get all the Giratina cards? In this opening, oh, what have we got here? Chandelier, or Chandelure, and Snorlax. 
All right. Four rates are pretty good at the moment, I think, considering. What are we open? We're open like 10 packs. I'm not even sure. I'm not even counting. <laughs> I know there are 100 packs on the, in front of me, though. Because I counted them. Oh, that's much better to open. All right. Doo -doo. <clears throat> yeah, flying through it. Oh, Radiant, Sneasler, and Fantina. All right, very good pack. Very good pack. Oh. Oh, sorry, guys. I thought there was a bit of like hollow bleed on the top then, but it was just a bit of dust. And Fantina. All right, so that was definitely a good pack. Oh. oh, our first rainbow. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I don't know. The pull rates are pretty good, I think. I mean, what, we're getting a, getting a decent pull every couple of packs, so it's a lot better than some of the other sets. I mentioned the Lost Origin cards are quite nice. It's not like it's Battle Stars or something like that. Nope. Black Code card. Always promising to see that. Oh, Gudra V Star. Very, very nice. What's the other one? Mimikyu. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Mm. That one was a tricky one, that one. That one did not want to stay open. Uh, Shepard, my cargo. All right. Pikachu. Zorak. Nothing. Giratina. Can another Giratina card be in the Giratina pack? Find out. Mm. About five seconds. No, it can't. <laughs> uh. All right. Mimikyu. Nothing. Oh. To fly. I'm just grabbing the packs completely out of random, so not in any specific order. Oh, what have we got here? Spirit Tomb and Gudra V Star again. Cool. So that shows there between the the mix of all the uh, booster boxes that these came out of. Because I don't really think many people get doubles out of the same box, and I am just grabbing them out of complete random piles. I don't know if you can see, but like I've just got all the. All the Gardevoir artwork there for starters, but cool. Another Gudra V star. Very nice. They're doing pretty good. They're doing pretty good. Oh. Alright, what's next? Nothing. Nothing. Alright. Parasect. Very nice. Oh, can't get my hands on that. That's a nice character rare. Parasect again. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. Oh, that's kind of funny. I'm thinking this is one side of one box, this is one side of another box, plus all this little stranglers boosters that I've just thrown up to make into the hundred so we might have some doubles as we clearly see we definitely have some doubles but hopefully not too many more Delphox V cool 
cool. I'm gonna have so much bulk to sort through later, which will be fun. I'm gonna try and go for the master set on this set, so I'll probably do a video soon of the folder of where I'm at with the uh, where I'm at with the set. I think after this I should have most cards, at least all the commons and reverses and de decent amount of full outs, I dare say. Between this and the uh, the box I opened the other day. But that was a really good box. If you guys haven't watched that video, definitely go check that out. We've got so many cool cards in that. Well, the, um, probably the best card we pulled was that rainbow, uh, rainbow, sorry, the uh, that gold Pikachu. That's a pretty cool card. <clears throat> yeah, there's lots of cool stuff in there. all the way to the front. Guja V. Alright, the favourite of today so far is Gudra. But I don't like Gudra. No, he's alright. He's pretty good. He was pretty good. Spinarak, and every time I see a Spinarak now, I'm thinking of a, of a Ditto for some reason. So it's that Pokemon Go set. Raichu. Alright, what do you guys happen from this set? If you only have one card from this set, what would it be? What's the chase card? You guys know mine by now, so I think it's that Pikachu VMAX. I want, that. I want it so much, I'm probably not going to stop opening packs until I get it. Oh, that's nice. And a Morris V. We don't have that. I think I pulled the V. Did I, pull the, I think I pulled this the standard V in the box the other day. I will do a recap at the end, guys, in case I have gone too fast over all the full arts. Oh, what have we got here? What have we got here? Radiant Steelix. Keel. Very cool. I do like the Radiant card. They are quite nice. A full art shiny Steelix, though, would have made a really cool card. I'm not going to lie there. But it's nice to see some love for some other cards besides just Charizard. Don't get me wrong, I love Charizard as much as the next guy, but there are other Pokemon besides Charizard. So it's nice to see some other cards getting some love. I am looking so forward to that new set, Silver Tempest, when that comes out at the end of the year. Because we know there'll be an alternate art Lugia in that, and everyone's going to want it. I want it. We haven't, had a, we haven't had a full art Lugia since... I can't remember what it was. Was it Lost Thunder? I think it was Lost Thunder. That was years ago. And Squivet Follow. <clears throat> Kingra, nothing. All right, guys, we're like 13 minutes in so far. I think we're doing pretty good. We're flying through this pretty fast. I don't want to be one of those YouTubers where it just drags it out for the sake of dragging it out. I'm here to have fun. I'm here to entertain. Not here to make you guys waste all night. I'll drag it out. Berserker. All right, nothing crazy yet, though. Nothing crazy. I think the uh, I reckon the enormous, uh, uh, enormous, Anamorous V or the uh, the Drapion V style is probably the best hit we've had so far. Ducklet and Ducklet. Like I said, we will do a recap at the end, that way we can have a good look at what we pulled versus 100 packs. Because 100 packs is, is decent, because that's what? It's near enough three booster boxes. Oh, damn. That does not want to open, does it? Oh, what have we got in here? Nothing? I thought I saw something. Must have been the right one. Yeah, there we go. 
That was a good rip. All right. Jinx. Nothing. Nope. Two packs there. That one sucks. Packs a bit squashed, isn't it? Is that because there's something cool inside of it? Arcanine and Giratina V. Cool. I like these double hit packs. I love the fact that the, uh, the character is filling the spot of the reverse. So you can potentially pull two full arts in one pack. Because that's awesome. I mean, not that they're high value, but it's just awesome. Because, like, I mean, the kids enjoy the game. I mean, it is designed for kids. So it's nice for... This, this would be a great set for the kids. Great set for the kids that just want to get some cool cards. Have a bit of fun. Not have to grind. Not like... I don't talk about Evolving Skies a lot, but my god, that was the grindiest grind that I ever grinded. Hey, hey there we go. Pikachu VMAX. Not the one I want, but I'm still happy. Yeah, we pulled this card in the uh, in the first box we, we opened the other day. But it's still a nice card. I want that Mew, though. I want the Mew to go with it. Alright. We're getting a little bit of everything there, so that's good. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right. All right, that's all I want to put down here, guys. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I'm very happy. I wanted this card so much. I am a Gen 1 at heart. I am... I don't know why I'm thinking about it. I'm 29 years old. I've been watching Pokemon since the day it came out. I remember episode one, watching it on Cheese TV as a kid, it was awesome. I am Gen 1 all the way, and this is awesome. All right, let's check the centering on it. Let's have a good look at it. That's not bad. It could be a lot worse. I'm not going to argue with that. All in all, very happy with that. That's definitely the best card we've pulled so far. All right, now I want the Sleeping Pikachu and the Giratina Alt Art. Lady. Alright, I am super happy about that, guys. I know everyone's chase cards and everyone's personal preferences are going to be different, but mine personally, I am th over the moon that I just pulled that. Over the moon. Snorlax. Hmm. Lost vacuum, I don't know why that looks light or something, I don't know. Alright, let's see. Yay! Oh, yay! <laughs> Alright, let me get rid of this bulk. Alright, Pidgeot V. And my sleeping Pikachu. Yay! That is such a nice card. Very nice card. Awesome. Awesome. Alright, well, I'm happy. What do you reckon? Secret rare to finish this off. Alternate art. Because if we don't pull an alternate art, I am going to be a little upset from 100 packs. Because that just means that this set is going to be so hard for everyone to finish. Then you've got, you got those guys out there that just want. That just want the one card. Like if you're just hunting for that Giratina, can you imagine how many packs you're gonna have to go through if we don't pull it, or if we at least don't pull an alternate art, so we can at least throw that in the stats of how many packs you have to open to get what you're after. Nothing. That's right. Don't know how many packs we have left. I'm looking. It looks like we have. Maybe 20? Oh. Another weird opening. And... Dilfox V again. Cool. Yeah, I really should pay attention to what side I'm opening these from. So I can see if the doubles are coming from the same packs. Which I doubt they, they, I doubt that they are. Just keep grabbing one from here and then I grab one from there. Alright, what have we got? Nothing. Oh, Even though it's the black card, 
Vile Plume does count as the rare, but no full art. I do not count that as a rare. I mean, I know it's a rare, but like, let's be honest, a, a, a base V is a rare. Or higher. White coat cards, we assume nothing, right? But you can still pull character rares because they can fall into the place of reverses. And 20 minutes in. This is taking a little bit longer than I thought. My apologies. I'm going as fast as I can. Ooh, Orbital VMAX and another Pidgeot V. Awesome. Awesome. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. I am still new to this, so I do appreciate anyone that wants to give me a bit of advice, what you like about the videos, what you don't like about the videos and whatnot. Um, I don't have a face cam mainly because I don't think it's necessary because you guys are here to look at Pokemon cards, not look at my face. That's going to take up half the screen like some other YouTubers. Then again, if you do want a face cam, I can arrange that. That's no problem, but I'm probably just going to keep recording stuff like this. That way you can see, you know, all the cards and all the packs and whatnot. Oops. Just fell apart, didn't it? Alright. Oh, Rotom V. Cool. We don't have that one yet, so that's awesome. I'm looking so forward to putting all this in the folder. I will do the folder video as soon as I can. That way I can help you guys that are trying to do the master set as well. I'm still trying to figure out, because I haven't got, um, in Australia, we haven't got the, um, the building battles kits yet. Oh, what I've got here? Giratina V star. Yeah, we haven't got the building battles yet. And I need the building battles to determine what are the non-holo exclusive from the builder battles so I can put make space for them in my folder. Yeah. Like if you haven't seen my um, if you haven't seen the master set on the Evolving Skies, I've got that on my channel as well if you guys want to check that out and you'll see how there's the um, got the hollows and then you've got the um, oh sorry, you've got the reverses and then you've got the hollows. But then in the building battles, there's three to four cards that are just non holo exclusives. Not that they're important, but they are still part of the set, so I do still want to make space for them in the folder. Gumi. Alright. So much Giratina. But no Giratina Alt Art. Come on, Alt Art. Ooh. Zoroark V Star Gold. I will take it. That's nice. That's nice. Did anyone see what side I picked that from? Did I take that from the right or the left? I don't even know. I don't even know. Right, this is from the right side. And the Zoroark. Makes sense. That's from the left side. Rumpel. Polytoed, Eridos. I think it's the first Eridos I've seen. What have we got here? Cast form and, ooh, Collapse Stadium. Another double pack. I love the double packs. Cast form. Actually, right, so we've got two golds. Right, so two golds. I'm just trying to think because the golds, the pull rate for the golds, which most people say, are quite high. But we've done 100 packs, or we've done about, done about 85 packs at this stage. Spirit tomb, or just the spirit tomb. Yep. Yep. Sorry, one second, guys. I'm just going to take a quick ten seconds to just tidy up the full art pile. That is a nice pile. We'll go through that at the end. Nothing. 
And a bit of VMAX again. Very nice. Very nice. Never really used all beetle at all. But I like it. I like how they put in the gym leader as well. Bug type makes sense. Oh. And Zorak V. Did we did we pull that one yet? I don't think we did. Not the base V. I haven't put my Charizard trying out yet. Oh, the character, sorry, the Charizard character. That'd be nice to get this one off. Nothing. Oh, let's get rid of that. We don't need empty packets on the screen to look at. Landorus. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Maybe this might be a half an hour video. Dust talks. Yeah, I definitely think this is the best way to, to open them, just blast through them. And a Radiant Steelix. Just trying to think, how many Radiant cards were there in this set? Because we've got three so far. Was that all of them or was there, was there more? I can't remember. And Orbital. Oh, that was sticking in, that was. Damn. Chandelier. It's about a reverse white card. Yep. Makes sense. Love it. I'm going to run out of sleeves in a second. And nothing. Kaizen V. Where them all parts at, guys? Radiant Gardevoir again. How many Radiant Gardevoirs was that? Was that two? Or was that three? Parasect? That's the third Parasect. So that'd be one per... Uh... One Parasect per booster box, if I'm going off my math. <clears throat> Six packs left. Ooh, Glade V. Very nice. That's better. Now my woman back up. I am out of sleeves. For now, that's alright. Let's put that to the side. Oh, sorry. There's six packs left as of now. And Magnazone Vista. Alright. Something different. Something new. Something shiny. I love it. I wonder what else we can get before we finish up here. Saving all the fun, different stuff for last, are they? Roserade, Giratina. That's three hits in a row. Four hits out of three packets right there, isn't it? Hmm. All the stuff's at the bottom. Any, any alternate arts hiding? Alternate would be a lovely way to finish this video. I'm not gonna lie. No. Nope. Because I keep asking for it. If I keep asking for alt art, I'm not going to get one. Uh, 
Vintage Discovery. Very nice. And nothing. All right, two packs left, three packs left. Man, I can't count, can I? And nothing. I did the Gardevoir pack last. As long as it doesn't give us another radiant Gardevoir. Vile Plume. All right, last pack. White card. P potential character rare? No, that's it. All right, that was 100 packs. All right, recap time. Recap time. Let me just grab all these and let's go through them, all right? Let's go through them. All right, this is the stack here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. So that's 45 hits from 100 packs, which is actually pretty good. That's 50-50, which is insanely good, considering standard packs are, what, 1 in 7. However, let's now put them in a bit of an order. So put the trainer here... Put the V's there, even though they are different V's. I put the character rares over here. And I'll just kind of put everything a bit everywhere, I think, at this stage. So we can have a good look, because there are quite a bit of doubles. But... Uh, I'm not even sure where I'm going to throw these. There, so the Pidgeot V. Look at that, we have the Pikachu. Pikachu, Pikachu. All right, Giratina V, Radiant Steelix, Arcanine, Berserker, and Amorous V. I'll just throw that there. Forgive me if everything doesn't fit on the screen at this exact second. Delphox V. So we had three Parasex. We had two Gudra V's. Let's put that there. With a base Gudra V. Spiritomb, there was one Spiritomb. Two trainers, one rainbow. And then two Giratina V stars, three Giratina V's. A base Kyurem, or two base Kyurems. Radiant Gardevoir. Where did I put the other Radiant Gardevoir? It's down there. Sneasel and Chandelier. Alright, so give me a second. I'm just going to disconnect my camera from its mount. So you guys can see whoop, everything. Alright, so let's have a good look there for a second, right? So two Pidgeots, three Giratinas, two Gudra Vs and a Gudra. Two Kyurems. Character rares though. Multiple Parasex, three Parasex, two Giratina V Stars, two Delphox Vs. We had two golds. We had two of the Orbital V Maxes. One Rainbow. Only two trainer cards, strangely enough. Doubles of Radiant Steelix and Radiant Gardevoir. And then one sleeping Pikachu, one Pikachu V Max, and I'm not even sure what you want to classify that as. It's a gold card, but it's different because you've got the Pikachu and the Mew from this set. But that's what we got out of 100 packs. Do you guys think that was good? We didn't pull any alternate arts. 
I didn't pull as many of the trainer cards as I like, but we did pull some really cool stuff and I pulled the cards that I wanted, so I'm incredibly happy. But I hope this guys helps you. If you, I mean, if you wanted to just watch the video and enjoy, I hope you guys did. If you wanted to watch the video to see what the pull rates were, I hope this helped. So thanks for watching the video guys. I will see everyone in the next one. Peace.